So just now we have completed the very hierarchical classification of the entire biological system. I feel you have understood it. So the first thing that we I want to repeat once again before going into the basic five kingdom classification is what were the basis of classification? The basis was three. We have discussed already. One was one was cell structure. The second one was So we have understood that there were three bases on virtue of which classification was done. Cell structure, mode of nutrition and source of nutrition. Now we are going into the very basics of what we are going to learn that is first kingdom that is kingdom Monera. I hope you all remember that just now we have discussed about Ernst Haeckel who was responsible for the five kingdom classification. So for the first time in the year 1866, so Ernst Haeckel for the first time made the classification of the kingdom Monera. From Greek word it was derived and it means single and solitary. Single and solitary means that these organisms which were classified under the kingdom Monera were single. They do not live in colonies. They prefer to live alone. Am I clear? So single solitary was the name given to this Monerans. And who made the, who gave the term? It was Haeckel in the year 1866. Okay. Now coming under the basic characteristics of the members under the kingdom Monera, I will first like to discuss this structure a bit with you people. Okay, this is a bacterium which comes under the example of Monera. You can see a whip like structure. This is the tail. This is the cell membrane. This is the cell membrane and this is the Is it clear? Genetic material or chromatin fibers. So as it is very visible, I would, I would not like to make you people understand by rote learning. You understand by the structure. As it is visible, genetic material or chromatin fibers, then you have the tail and then you have a distinct cell membrane. And the question strikes, is there any nucleus? No, there is no nucleus in case of monerans. So the first characteristics under monera is they are unicellular prokaryotes. They are unicellular prokaryotes. One cell and prokaryotes means primitive nucleus, the first point. As you can see from this diagram, the second characteristics, there is no nucleus or any cell organelles. Can you find any mitochondria? No. Can you find any vacuole? No. Can you find any distinct endoplasmic reticulum? No. That means there is no cell organelle or there is no nucleus present in that case of the monerans. So the second point is no nucleus or no cell organ. Okay. The second point is also very clear. The third point is there is no multicellular body design. The third point is no there is no multicellular body design which means that they have only one cell and as you can understand from this diagram as well as from the point I have already mentioned that they have only one cell. So do you think that there will be any division of labor? No, there will be no division of labor as there is only one cell. They have no multicellular design. The third point, the mode of nutrition. What we are going to understand? The mode of nutrition.
they have either autotrophic or heterotrophic mode of nutrition. As we know, autotrophic means self. Heterotrophic means others. So these members under the group of monerans can make their own food by themselves or they are dependent upon others for their food. I am making another structure for you. Okay. Look at the diagram very carefully. You have cells arranged in chains. You have a cell membrane for every cell. I have marked that's why double lines. And you have a darkened cell that is called heterocyst. Heterocyst. This is example of a monera whose name is Nostoc. What is the name? The name is Nostoc. Nostoc is a monera that is having heterocyst and what this heterocyst does? This heterocyst helps in fixation of nitrogen. So this very monera can prepare its own food and in absence of proper light or proper oxygen it can also depend upon others for its food because it has chlorophylls present in them. So is it clear the four points I am repeating again. The first is they are unicellular prokaryotes they have only one cell and they are very primitive. The second point is there is no nucleus or there is no cell organelles as it was evident from the diagram of the bacteria even they have no proper chromosomes. The genetic material is suspended in that of the body cavity. The third point is there is no multicellular body design that is there is no division of labor only one cell is doing all the works of the bacterium or that of the monerum. The fourth point is it is either having autotrophic mode of nutrition that is making its own food by themselves or it is having heterotrophic mode of nutrition that is it is dependent upon others. The last point under monerum is that is the fifth point they have almost all the members of monerans have a sexual mode of nutrition so they have a sexual reproduction by means of fission that is their body can divide and they can have different individual from one parent like say this is one parent now it is dividing it will give rise to two new individual so there is no two parents okay only one parent is giving rise to two new individuals so they have sexual mode of uh, reproduction and that is fission another mode of nutrition is budding budding means from one parent say this is the parent and you are having one bud coming out like this the bud gets separated and it forms a new individual. Understood? This bud gives rise to a new individual. So here we come across all the five important points under Monera. First point was they are unicellular prokaryotes. The second point was they have no nucleus or they have no cell organelles. The third point was there is no multicellular body design. The fourth point was the mode of nutrition is either autotrophic or heterotrophic. And the last point is they reproduce asexually by means of fission or budding. And as the name suggests they are usually single or solitary they do not live in colonies they are found everywhere from that of very high temperature to that of very low temperature from that of very high saline places to that of very less saline places you can find bacterium or monerans everywhere and mostly these bacterium or monerans are very disease causing mostly not all they are disease causing Any disease you can name like tuberculosis, it is caused by a bacterium. You can also understand cholera caused by a bacterium, vibrio choleri. So that means they are mostly disease causing, not all. So here we come across to the end of the, all the characteristics of monerans. You have to remember the characteristics and the example. The example under monerans, you have to remember two examples for every kingdom. One you can have. The two examples that I have already discussed that is bacterium and nostoc. Now I have discussed with you about one scientist whose name was Wu's. If you remember it, this scientist has divided the kingdom Monera into two other groups. Monera. 
into two other groups. One is Archaebacteria. Archaebacteria and eubacteria as i've already told you always we have to learn biology by breaking of terms archae means primitive why so archaeology study of primitive structures bacteria you means true okay true so true bacteria and primitive bacteria means they are very Primitive ones, that is old ones, and U bacteria means advanced ones. With this, we end monerans. Now, going to the next kingdom, that is protista.